Hey friends, Ernest Christian here, another episode of the Unfiltered Earth Speak Unfiltered podcast. Today, I wanted to talk about quickly um, about the surprising news to most in the NBA community about the all of a sudden signing Giannis Tetacuampo, the Greek freak, uh, arguably a top three player in the league right now, uh, signing his Supermax to remain with Milwaukee, with the Milwaukee Bucks, for the next five years. Um, and it's surprising only because of the fact there's been so many rumors over the course of the last year, especially in the last few months, as Giannis entered his, his final year of his contract before hitting free agency next uh, summer. And a lot of speculation in terms of where Giannis will end up, up, end up depending on if he... You know, wins a title in Milwaukee, which is, you know, a lot of folks don't think that the pieces around him right now is of a championship, championship rather caliber franchise. Um, but you know, I'm you know I'm surprised just a bit. Um. And there's a lot of feedback about this, too. A lot of folks said he made the wrong move because, you know, if you're going to win, you got to go to places like L.A., Golden State, Miami, Boston, you name it. And a lot of folks do appreciate Giannis deciding to be loyal and, you know, just build around what he has there. And for the record, he has a good team there, you know, and they – the Bucks did sign Drew Holiday, you know, um, trade for him at, rather. Um, they do have Chris Middleton. They have a couple of nice pieces there. Brook Lopez, I believe, I believe, is still there. I haven't went through their uh, current roster as of uh, October, um, which we'll we'll be doing on our speaking podcast this Thursday, doing our predictions for the year, win losses, which you can check out on the course. But I, you know, I have two emotions here. On one end, as a Miami Heat fan, diehard, you know, I wanted to be honest to be here. I was even predicting, uh, even as as recent as yesterday, on a, on a text with my family, my cousins, and my brother, saying that because the topic came up about which player would you prefer uh, in Miami, Giannis or James Harden, who's also. Um, being uh, who's who's uh, asked for tra- uh, you know to be traded and whatnot, and Miami are Miami's is supposedly in the hunt for both guys, and you know I was I'm pro Giannis I I believe he's the one who's the most coachable. Um, so as a Heat fan, I'm sad. You know, I'm like, oh, that stinks. I mean, but but as an NBA fan, I think this move is excellent for the league. Because he has bucked a trend that we've seen over the course of the last uh, decade or so. Players teaming up, super teams, who may be, whether it was LeBron or Kevin Durant or any any big name player. You know, Anthony Davis recently going with LeBron to L.A. And you're seeing star players, top caliber, top ten guys, bucking trends and teaming up to win titles and i'm not and i'm not knocking that because that's that's their right you know free agency is free agency especially you know you you decide where you want to go it's on you but it's all about the you know us pundits and critics and whatnot and players obviously listen to what we have to say and other people have to say about them you know in terms of the decisions they make so jan has bucked a trend Decided to stay in Milwaukee, uh, obviously a uh, small market team, and I think it's good for the league. You know, it's good for the league. As an NBA fan, I'm, I'm thrilled because I really believe competition breeds competition. The Eastern Conference is going to be really good this year. Uh, Milwaukee is one of the favorites to come out of the East. Obviously, it'll be tougher this year with the amount of teams that are really perking up. Obviously, you have Brooklyn and Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. That combo, we'll see how that works out. Obviously, my Miami Heat, who went to the finals this past year, actually beat Milwaukee in the second round of the playoffs to get there. They're formidable, obviously. Um, the Celtics, of course, are solid. Uh, 
who else in the East? That's Philadelphia 76ers. You know, they're going to be really good, I think. I think they added some nice pieces. And all these things I'll get into in the in the uh, Under Speak podcast on Thursday when we do our again our over unders with my uh, my boys Zach and Chris. Uh, so the East is gonna be, it's gonna be really tough, really tough. Um, but Milwaukee's one of, the, one of the favorites, and you know you have the threesome of Milton, Giannis, and uh, Drew Holiday. That's that that's a, a, a trio right there that could get you to the finals, especially how good Giannis is anyway. So. Like I said, I'm sad as a Heat fan that he stayed, but as an NBA diehard who loves this league more than anything, my favorite league in all sports, I'm happy for the guy. I really am. And I think the league could definitely use more stars that are spread out as opposed to being teamed up. And like I said, I'm not against super teams. I'm a Heat fan. I mean, we had LeBron waiting in Boston for four years, so I can't be against it. But I do like the idea of... uh, Competition breeding competition, and that's good. That's a good thing. So kudos to Milwaukee, kudos to Giannis for uh, bucking the trend and staying in Milwaukee. And we're gonna have a good season, man. We'll see what happens. So anyway, that's my thoughts on uh, tonight on Mister Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak, deciding to stay in Milwaukee. He's here to stay for at least. Four, if not five years. I say that because year five on his contract is there's a player option. So, anyway, Earn Christian here. And we'll come back hopefully next day or two with another uh, unfiltered rant here. Till then, love you guys. Take care. <laughs>